What's up, everyone? Welcome to Best Car Reviews. I'm Ben, and today we'll be dissecting the 2023 Ram 1500. Before we begin, please like and subscribe so I continue to bring accurate and clear car reviews in under 10 minutes. So let's get started. Name a tougher sounding truck than Ram. I'll wait. Ram trucks are notorious for reliability, power, and quality, while also doing it subtly. They also have quality designs that draw in lots of interest before the specs under the hood and inside are even known. There's not much to complain about these trucks except for the potentially slightly above average pricing. But honestly, everything's expensive these days and you get what you pay for. If you're loving the design and want to know more, then stay tuned. Today we'll get the different trims and details that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. Photos and information in today's video come direct from Ram or from Car and Driver. Let's dive in. 2023 Ram 1500 will come in several different trims. Tradesman, HFE, Bighorn, Laramie, Rebel, Longhorn and Limited. That base level tradesman will start you just under 40,000 at 39,305, working all the way up to that top trim limited at 65,645. So hopefully in that range of trims and that price differenti differentiation of about $25,000, there is a model that you love at a price point that you can afford. Engine options for this truck will be a 3.6 liter V6, 305 horsepower and 271 pound feet of torque. That V6 is paired with a 48 volt hybrid system. You can also have a 5.7 liter V8, 309 horsepower and 410 pound feet of torque. And that is available without the hybrid, but also with it. There's also a three liter V6 diesel, 260 horsepower and 480 pound feet of torque, but they are ending production on that diesel engine in January, 2023, which has already happened. All these will be paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. Drive train, obviously rear wheel drive, Four wheel drive as this being a truck. Strength of this max towing is at 12,750 pounds. It's not quite the class leader, uh, but still not bad at all. Payload comes in at 2,320 pounds. And I put a side note down there ultimate Ram 1500 you can get is that TRX, you know, just totally pimped out off roader starting at 84,355. Big old supercharged 6.2 liter V8 giving you 702 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque. I didn't put that in with the rest because I just feel like that is not even uh, ranked with these. This is in a class of its own. If you want to go down that route, this is a sinister truck. Uh, would be serious head-turner. Um, absolutely incredible vehicle from Ram on that one. Take a look at some of the trick pictures here of the 1500 that have been released across the different trims and what they look like as we talk about it. I think Ram has found a way to keep their classic look while being completely modern at the same time. Each trim has their own look that separates them from each other, so there's bound to be one that you love. Design and appeal are correlated to price for sure, but the truck quality is good throughout. You're still getting that solid Ram truck no matter which trim you go with. As always, the base trim gives more basic exterior looks, nothing fancy. Uh, inside too, you know, it's just your basic truck. The Bighorn and up is where it ramps up on overall looks. I think the Laramie is probably the cheapest, best balance in my opinion. The Rebel gives you nice off-road performance without having to shell out for that insane TRX. The Longhorn and Limited give the most superior appeal inside and out. You know, those insides really make this feel like a luxury vehicle, not really a truck. Uh, lots of high praise on the ride quality of these trucks as they use rear coil springs. Um, the rear uses coil springs or air springs instead of the standard leaf springs that you see in their competition and just, you know, usually standard procedure in a truck that available air suspension delivers superior ride. Um, there's also different packages to add to these trims that add nice features, including a 33 gallon fuel tank instead of a stock 26. Definitely want to add that in because having an extra seven gallons of fuel, especially with these MPGs. You know, that's, that's actually going to make a difference, and that could be a big factor when you're looking at packages. Um, really, there's endless things to like about these trims and their options. Best bang for your buck, in my opinion, is get the Bighorn due to it being third up the trim ladder to bring you elevated standard features, but still being 10,000 below the next trim above it. Getting a quality full size truck for starting 45K MSRP is not bad at all, and you get a great truck for the money. We'll take a look at some shots of the different interior options that you can kind of spec out yourself, depending on how you buy and how you option. The interior quality and appeal is also strongly related to how much you spend. You can go from a very basic interior on that tradesman 
arguably a class-leading luxury on that Longhorn or Limited. You can get all the creature comforts that you want, depending on how you buy an option, heated and ventilated seats, panoramic sunroof, premium leather, and real wood accents are all available. There's lots of room inside these trucks, especially in the crew cab. You have ample interior storage, and you have two different bed lengths that you can pick from. One of the best infotainment systems in the, you know, all of vehicles, really, that Ram has. Batesman gets an 8.4-inch infotainment screen. The rest of them get a 12-inch screen. It kind of goes down uh, vertically. A really sharp-looking infotainment area. I love how they've done this design. I think it looks really sharp. Makes you feel like you're driving something really special. And you also get a nice digital, digital gauge area to go along with those infotainment screens. Uh, Apple CarPlay Android Auto comes standard on this system. Uh, they can be paired with it. You get a five-star safety rating, which is great to hear. And you also get, of course, numerous driver's assist, safety, and technology features available, if not standard. In review, guys, this, with this Ram 1500, you really can't go wrong. You know, what, No matter which trim you pick, if you just want that bare-bones truck, it's got to get you from point A to point B, be able to tow what you need, haul what you need, uh, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, then that tradesman might just be exactly what you're looking for. If you want to spend a little more money, get something a little bit nicer, you know, you have the Bighorn, you have the Laramie. If you want to go all out, you, know, you have the Longhorn, the Limited. And if you want that crazy off-road potential, you know, big, uh, you know, off-road tires, crazy suspension, and just a sick looking truck, then you can go down that TRX route and go race all the Raptor R's that you want from the stoplight, um, and you'll probably win. But overall, great truck, lots of great qualities. Ram has done it year after year. Um, nothing but good things I've heard about this truck. You know, ride quality is so important. This is said to be so well with that. You know, great design. Really can't go wrong, like I keep saying. Uh, but hopefully this video will lay things out in a clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this Best Car Review. Please subscribe if not already, and I'll catch you on the next Best Car Review.